Hello, I'm Richard Norman, the Field Services Training Leader for Monitoring and Diagnostics with GE Grid Solutions UK Limited. This how-to video, I will take you through the recommended equipment care for your Kelman device within the Transfix family, including Minitrans. These procedures and practices are recommended. However, frequency is at the end customer's discretion, due mainly to the variation of installation and environmental conditions where the monitors may be required to operate. Preparation. Prior to all equipment care, it is recommended to back up all system data and history and disable the monitor scheduler. Equipment shutdown and isolation is recommended for all equipment care tasks. After completion of all equipment care tasks, re-energize the monitor, restart the device and confirm equipment data memory is intact. Re-enable the monitor scheduler. Transfix family internal air filter. This is a Transfix DGA 500. The procedure for this device and all others in the Transfix family is similar. Open the main door. Open internal zone 2 door. Loosen the two quick locking screws. Inside the bottom of this zone is located the inlet air filter. To remove, simply pull up the black cover. Inside you should find the gauze filter and mesh. There may be a transportation cable tie that requires cutting. This cable tie does not require replacement. If there is a lot of dust in the fan blades, use a brush and or compressed air to clean out. Replace the whole filter assembly as shown, making sure to line up the top cover crossbar with the fan assembly crossbar. Transfix family external air outlet filter. The air outlet filter is located under the side cowling. This cowl is a tight fit by design and will require lifting to access the filter. If the cowling cannot be lifted by hand, use suitable tools and blocks to prevent damage to the cowling. The transportation cable tie may be in place if this is the first filter cleaning or replacement carried out on this monitor. Snip the cable tie, it does not need replacing. This was installed for equipment transportation only. Remove the filter, clean or replace. Position the new filter to align the cover crossbar, therefore not restricting airflow. Refit the outer cowling. Again, if it is not possible by hand, use suitable tools to prevent damage. Transfix family inline oil filter. This may be completed as either an equipment care task or a resolution to an error code. See each equipment manual for error codes. The inline oil filters may be positioned inside the monitor at the bottom of zone 2 or externally mounted as with Taptrans. The procedure for all Transfix family devices is similar. Ensure the recommended preparation is carried out. Additionally, Close the Kelman oil, supply and return ball valves. If the filter is correctly aligned to the monitor body, proceed as shown. 
using a one inch right angled crow's foot and a one inch socket, hold and remove the filter cap nut as shown. Care must be taken to not bend or fracture the oil lines. When the cap nut is removed, a small amount of oil may leak out. Clean and replace the filter housing as required. As per the filter technical drawing, be aware of the position of the internal sealing gasket. It is recommended to change this gasket with the filter. Use a lint-free material to clean the inside. Refit the new internal gasket and oil filter. Retalk the nut to the correct torque value. With this type of housing, 65 newton meters is recommended. Reopen the Kelman oil supply and return valves, power on the unit, and re enable the scheduler. Be aware there may be a small air bubble in the filter housing. If this is a concern, please contact GE m and for further assistance. Misaligned filter assembly. If when looking inside or underneath, the filter assembly is not positioned correctly, repositioning may be required. To do this with the monitor in standby, close the Kelman supply and return oil ball valves. Slightly loosen the top and bottom unions to realign the filter as shown. Retighten and then continue as demonstrated previously. LTA fan cleaning. Complete preparation tasks as recommended. Power off the monitor and isolate from electrical power. Cleaning the external Peltier fan group can be completed with either compressed air or low pressure water spray from the top. To assist the cleaning of the Peltier cooling fins, the top cover may be removed and must be replaced. Minitrans air inlet filter. The inlet air filter is located on the right hand side from the front. To remove the cover, pull as shown. Clean or change the internal gauze filter to maintain good cooling airflow through the unit. When replacing the filter housing, be aware of the keyway at the bottom to assist realignment. Click back into place.
Minitrans Oil Inlet Filter. The oil filter is located behind the main door, positioned close to the main electrical input. Ensure all equipment preparation has been carried out. Close the Kelman oil supply and return ball valves. With a suitable torque wrench and a 1 inch spanner, removal and replacement of the filter nut, internal filter and gasket are possible. Holding the filter housing with a spanner and loosening the nut with a suitable wrench. Be aware oil may leak out. Clean up any oil. Clean out the filter housing with a lint-free material. Replace the filter and gasket with the correct replacement parts. Relocate the nut, ensuring the internal components remain in place. Tighten the nut to the recommended 65 newton meters for the filter type shown. Ensure the filter body is held whilst retorquing the filter nut. Complete all post equipment care tasks. Transfix family battery exchange. If after an equipment shutdown the date and time are incorrect on the LCD screen, it is a good indication that the system battery requires replacement. As part of a proactive equipment care program, it is recommended by the battery manufacturer to replace the battery every three to five years. Battery life may vary greatly depending on many factors including amount of time the unit is left without electrical energisation, local environment and ambient temperature. With the unit still powered on, open the inner door to expose the battery. Remove the battery with a non-conductive tool. Refit the new battery. It is good practice to label the date of exchange. Resecure the inner door and confirm the date and time are still correct. Alternatively, if your company procedures do not allow live electrical work, complete the battery exchange offline. Complete all recommended pre-shutdown procedures. <music> Lift and remove the battery with a suitable bladed tool. Replace the battery as specified in the equipment support manual. Here the date and time has been written on the replacement battery. With the unit powered back on, reconnect with the equipment operating software to resync the date and time to your PC.
Mini Trans battery. To access the battery, the inner panel will require removal to access the necessary PCB. The same live or dead procedures can be followed as per Transfix family monitors previously demonstrated. Thank you for watching this equipment care video. Look forward to more content at this site.